What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video coming to help you guys out today with helpful tips for how to get approved in 2022 for a Navy Federal Credit Card. And today we're going to be talking about the More Rewards card, as you can see right here on the screen. This is the one we're going to focus on looking for a credit card. It says we're here to help. You know, they're, they're, I've never used their chat before, but uh, when you call them over the phone, their phone reps are typically pretty helpful. I've only had two times where I got some bad information uh, from Navy Federal phone reps. So, Here's what we're gonna say. Uh, we're gonna go through this video. So we're talking about the more rewards cards from Navy Federal, guys. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more stuff and be helping you guys out with in 2022 when it comes to finance and particularly when it comes to credit. Now, this is just one of six credit cards Navy Federal has. If you're new to Navy Federal, you may not know this. They have six credit cards. So they have uh, five unsecured that you're looking at right here. And then at the very bottom of this, they have their one secured card, okay? This is a, obviously a bit different than the unsecured. Now. We're gonna talk about the benefits, the bonuses, uh, things like that it's offering. Um, we're also gonna talk about some of the other features they have with this card. Then we're gonna talk generally about some things that you need to know for all of Navy Federal's credit cards. Um, and then you know, things that could help you and keep things to keep in mind when you're trying to establish a relationship with Navy Federal. So looking at this, right, the more rewards cards. This card, they're pushing the 25,000 uh, point bonus, which we'll get to in just a moment. So talks about what this card best for, everyday spending, grocery shopping, you only need average credit at best to get this, or I mean, at minimum to get this card, okay? That's one of the reasons people like Navy Federal a whole lot is because oftentimes people who've got average credit can get a credit card and get a high limit with this. Lots of people like to use the whole late night hack with Navy Federal. I tried that whole thing with the flagship card. It's the only card I have with them. It didn't work well for me. Some people said because it's the flagship card, it didn't work as well, but who knows? So there's people who, you know, sometimes have average credit scores or just not great credit scores, and they're able to get a card like this when they apply online for 15, 20, 25,000 dollar credit limit. Like you'll hear about it happening. You hear the data points of it happening. Now I do have a pre-qualification tool, which we will talk about a little bit later, but let's look at some of the things they offer right here. So rates, fees, and rewards. So 9.65 to 18% is what you're looking at as far as interest rate on this, okay? Navy Federal, they do not go above 18% interest on their credit cards. It's one of the big reasons people like them is because lots of credit cards, you see 24.99, 28.99%. Navy Federal does not go above 18, okay? That's pretty, pretty hard to beat. Lots of other credit unions even can't beat that. The fees or the lack of fees, right? No annual fee, no balance transfer fee, no foreign transaction fees, and no cash advance fees. I've seen some other credit unions or banks where a card will have, you know, they won't have like two of these, but like almost never, I think have I seen it with all four of these they don't have. So another reason people love Navy Federal, there's no, there's hardly any fees or the fees are oftentimes lower, not just the credit cards, but lots of their other products as well. So Navy Federal is the biggest credit union and there's a good reason for that as you're seeing right now. So the rewards they offer, okay, you get three points at restaurants. At restaurants and on food delivery, three points at supermarkets, three points on gas and transit, then one point on everything else. Points, they're a penny a point. So just like if you're uh, with Chase and you know you get 10,000 points, um, you know it's worth 100 bucks, same concept as this, all right? Now, you scroll down here, they have some other features and benefits that are pretty much with all their cards. I mean, you have no rewards limits. This is entertainment access, so like early access to tickets and uh, for you know sporting events, concerts, things like that. You can redeem the points for cash, travel, or gift cards. Um, we have some rental car coverage, right? Loss and damage insurance, roadside, roadside assistance, other things they include with all their cards, like zero liability for unauthorized transactions. That's pretty standard, but it's secured, unsecured with maybe federal with a big bank. That's pretty common, right? Access to your credit score, fraud notifications, those kinds of things. So we'll go up here now and then we'll hop over to some of the notes I got for you that I made just for, um, this video. So one thing you want to keep in mind with Navy federal is, when you're trying to get credit cards and you're trying to apply for credit limit increases, here I'll put this I'll put this in bold here because there we go because this is important. They typically want people to wait three billing cycles. That's what they typically like. Okay, so after you get your card from them, you get approved and you want to get a credit limit increase. Say you get approved for five grand, eight grand, and you're like, no, nah, you want to get fifteen, you want twenty. Okay, now you can actually ask them right away. Okay, I did that. Um, on the flagship card, I got approved as a $7,100 limit. So it was way less than people telling all these cool stories of the late night hat getting $20,000, $25,000 limits. I got $7,100. And again, some said because it's the, lit, because it's the flagship cards, my first card with them, they're not going to be as lenient, possibly. I, re I messaged them right away and said, hey, can I have a higher limit on this card? 
and they said that they're just not going to approve it. But, you know, they typically want people to wait three billing cycles before a credit limit increase or applying for another credit card. So you can do it before then, but you're just more likely to get denied. Now, common advice is to apply for the credit limit increase on the site or using the app so that it is a soft pull, okay? I did this recently. Uh, I did a request for my flagship card. It was a soft pull, okay? I didn't get a bunch of um, notifications from my credit report saying, hey, there was a new hard inquiry or anything like that. Supposedly, if you call over the phone and you ask over the phone with a rep, it is more likely to be a hard pull. I've had one rep told me that it doesn't matter how you do, it's always gonna be a hard pull. Obviously, that's not true. And then, Another rep said, he goes, if it is over the phone, he, he was cool. He was like, he was saying it could be a hard pull, but it could be a soft pull. And it could even just be an automatic where like 5%, 10% of the time, it's just you get an automatic um, increase and there's like no pull of any kind. So also Navy Federal, keep in mind, you're allowed to have up to three credit cards with them where you are the primary user. So three credit cards in your name. Authorized user, if other people put you on their card, that's essentially unlimited. But if you want to have three credit cards with Navy Federal, that's the most you're going to be able to get. Now, the total credit limit allowed with Navy Federal is $80,000 total, whether you have one, two, or three credit cards. Now, there is one credit card, the flagship, that can go up to an $80,000 limit. All the rest of their unsecured credit cards go up to a $50,000 limit. So if you just have one flagship, like I have one flagship credit card. If I want to just push that all the way up to $80,000 limit over time, I could. But if I do that, then I cannot get a second or a third card with them. Now, if you have this card, the more rewards, you can get this all the way up to a $50,000 limit, and you still have $30,000 of credit limit that you can use. So if you wanna get one other card and go that up to 30, you can. If you wanna split up between two cards, however you wanna do it between one, two, or three credit cards, you can do it that way, but the total is 80,000. That is the total you're gonna be able to have with them. I learned that one the hard way because one rep gave me some bad information one time. Now. They typically pull from TransUnion. So I have heard they pull sometimes pull from Equifax. I don't know that I've ever seen anyone give data points online, though, that they actually got pulled from Equifax with Navy Federal. It's almost always been TransUnion. When they pulled my, um, when I got the uh, hard pull for the flagship card, it was on TransUnion. And one rep told me about 90% of the time they do TransUnion, 10% Equifax. Another rep told me that it's about 50-50 between the two. And another rep gave me the politically correct answer. He goes, well, we could pull any of the three bureaus. Like, okay, like, I know you can. Like, that's what everyone, like, yes, technically that every, any credit card issuer could pull any of the three bureaus, but obviously some, like, lean more towards one than the other. And Navy Federal leans pretty hard to TransUnion from everything I've seen. Now, what you can do to help see if you're going to be able to qualify for some of these cards, use the pre-qualification tool that's on the website. Uh, we actually, I don't think it shows up on this part here, but if you go back to this page, there you go, pre-qualify me. You can use this, all right? So you just click on this, you go through the process there. You are going to state your income. You're going to give some information about yourself, some personal information. Then you're going to state your income. It will tell you which credit cards you pre-qualify for. But understand, it is not a guarantee that you will be approved when you apply for the credit card. The pre-qualification tool will not have any impact on your credit score. But when you actually apply, you are gonna get a hard inquiry. But there's no guarantee that pre-qualifying equals approval. Other things people like to do uh, with Navy Federal is to use some of their other products before they apply for a credit card to show Navy Federal that they like their products, they're more invested in the uh, credit union. So sometimes people will do a pledge loan, they'll uh, put money in a CD account. A big thing is when you just have your checking and savings account with them, that you do not overdraw those accounts. You don't have overdrafts on them. That was a big thing. I remember asking a rep about that, and she was saying, um, you know, there's different, like, theories about how to help get approved with Navy Federal credit cards, but she's like, she put a big emphasis on saying, make your payments on time, do not overdraw your accounts, you're checking your savings account. Basically, you need to show them that you can be responsible with whatever money you already have in your accounts with them, and then, you know, they're more likely to lend you a credit, give you a credit card because they're essentially giving you a loan on a credit card. But if you show like that you cannot be responsible and you've got negative account balances and that kind of thing, yeah, your chance of getting approved go way down with them. So keep that in mind. Also, after you get approved, you're going to get a letter in the mail from Navy Federal that looks like spam. It looks like just some junk mail. Keep that because on the back of it, it has your Navy Federal score. They actually have their own internal scoring system for you. A lot of people don't know that. They ranks you on a scale of 100 to 450. So that's basically how they view you as a customer. So keep that, and it's a good way to see how they view you 
over time, you know, you apply for other cards or things like that, you'll get that letter again. And then you can see how they score you. Just a good little tool that you can have to see your chance of getting approved for other things with Navy Federal, not just a credit card, but even other products and services that they offer. So guys, please subscribe to the channel. Hopefully this video was helpful. I try to condense it down as much as I can to help you with the more rewards card or any credit card I'm talking about to help you get um, qualified and get approved for this. And you can start building a good relationship with Navy Federal and help build out your financial future. So if it was helpful, please tell me down in the comments section below. If there's something I missed, tell me as well. But until next time, keep growing your money.